Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Rude War Remastered. Today we've got a match between July and Last here on Fighting Spirit. Got this replay off of TeamLiquid.net. The date on it is sometime in 2015, but I don't know how much I can trust that, so eh, it's fairly recent anyway. Top right hand corner is the Teal Zerg player. It is July. And bottom left hand corner. The Purple Terran player, it's Last. Now, Last, he's more of a recent up-and-coming Terran player. He did compete against Rain in that best of five at BlizzCon last year. And last year, I mean last month. So he's pretty darn good. He's a pretty darn effective Terran player. He knows what he's doing. I'm not sure how good he is back in 2015, because that was four years ago now. Which, holy crap, do I feel old. That 2015 is four years. Where did the decade go? Where did the 2010s go? We need a better name for that, too. As a society, like how is he walling off up here? Holy smokes, Lass is gonna wall off at this bridge leading into his base, which is kind of awesome. Now the problem is, you can sneak up around this left way and come back this way, so you gotta watch out for Ling attacks running back this direction. But if you can wall this off, oh, there we go, additional supply depot here. So yeah, he is. I've never seen this walling off technique before, from or anywhere, but. I appreciate Last showing it to me. That's beautiful stuff. Meanwhile, July, who one of his Smurfs is commentary, if you search on the Smurf list. Which, by the way, whoever maintains that, like, I need to send you a couple of bucks because it has saved me so much time to be like, who this is a commentary player? And then I just look at the Smurf list and it's July. It's nice. Hatch coming up. Hatch first here from July, who is one of the more aggressive Zerg players on planet Earth. I cast a game of Heroes the other day. And Hero is known as Neo July just for his aggressive style too. So if you are named after somebody aggressive because you're aggressive, that person is also aggressive. That was kind of inception-y. I don't know if I liked it. Anyway, we're going to keep casting because that's what we do. SCV scouting the top left-hand corner. No Zerg. Bottom right-hand corner. No Zerg. But the Overlord does say, aha, top right-hand corner based on the trajectory of that Overlord. It can't get there from the top left in this time. It has to get there from the top right from this time, and he wouldn't be coming from the top down to the south if he'd spawn in the bottom right-hand corner, so that information is now in uh, in Last's brain. I, this is so interesting to me. It's not even a wall yet. Like, Lings can still sneak through here, no problem. That said, oh, <laughs> it's a bunker rush. It's a bunker rush from Last. Yes. Yes. I've not seen a bunker rush in a while. My Brood War Cheese video, which if you missed, you should go check that out. It was kind of fun. Had stuff like this, but I haven't seen it in a regular game in a while. So here goes nothing. Bunker here. SCVs tacking. And, man, these are just drones, dude. This is just drones. A secondary bunker being thrown up here. SCV actually fighting. Creep colony trying to happen. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while before that is a sunken colony and super useful to you in any way. Marines trying to fight here. The drones actually do pretty well against, up, against unupgraded Marines, but nope. Not there. Look at the health bars up, just so you can see exactly what's going on during this battle. But the bunker's up. The bunker's ready to go. That is going to be a sunken colony pretty darn soon. Bam. Done. I think faster than I expected, and maybe a little bit faster than last expected, too, here. So we have the contain. We are ready to lock rock. Lings are going to have a hard time breaking this, as well as mutilisks, as it turns out. So I think, okay, so the barracks placement was just to make the marines get out here a little bit faster. Like, a little bit faster? Not even all that much fast. But anyway, July's got a lot of Zerglings. There aren't that many Marines in these bunkers. There's actually four total here. Some of them are actually pretty injured and bruised. So, Zergling, a Zergling surround here might be able to break it, honestly. That SCV repairing is going to be a problem. But, I mean, the big deal here now is that Last is going to be on two base versus July. And he's got a pretty good start to the game so far, I would say. He killed a couple drones, he pulled some drones off the line. He lost some mining time back home because of the SCVs he has across the mission, or across the map here. But this SCV, I was, I was gonna say, you don't wanna go home, dude. We need you to repair stuff. We need you to repair. Here come the Lings. Oh, the SCV trying to get in there and repair and actually doing a pretty good job with it. Oh, can they get into their, no, they cannot get into their bunker. Good micro there from July. And this bunker is going to die. SCV might die first. Metabolic boost is about 40% complete, but... Oh, the SCV trying to juke back around and actually taking a couple hits. That was not a good gamble at all. But again, the great news here for Last is his natural base is almost done. He is throwing up another barracks. He's got his gas. He's got just an academy. 
into the swing of things here too. Our SCV is almost dead. There's a single dude chasing him. The barracks is gone. The wreckage slowly sinking into Mother Earth as buildings do in StarCraft when they get destroyed as the wreckage just sinks into the Earth. It's like we're playing on quicksand or something, you guys. Oh, that'd be an interesting, like, an interesting mod for a StarCraft game, wouldn't it? As if the ground was quicksand, and if your units held still, they would slowly start sinking into it and eventually die. Ah, oh, that would tax your APM so much. Your workers would be generally fine because they're moving, right? And they float anyway. They could probably be immune to this challenge. But, like, if your SCVs, or your SCVs, your Zerglings are just hanging out, sink. Your Marines are just hanging out like this, sink. You gotta either patrol them, or actually move out on the attack a lot of the time. Ah, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be really, really fun. And it'd be really, really hard to do. I think it was the other part. The other part of this equation. Was that weighing on? Hang on. Evolution Chamber, Evolution Chamber. Double Evo Chamber here from July. Tells me you're just gonna go for a lot of upgraded Zerglings. Maybe some upgraded Hydras in here too. Plus one, plus one. On the way for the Lings tells me we're gonna see Ultras at some point. Tells me we're trying to get to Ultralisks pretty fast. And these Lings out at the front are here to make sure that any pressure that comes out will be uh, hard to get out there for last. And at the very least, scouted. But third base at the 3 o'clock position for last is up now. Or up for July is now up and running quite nicely. That lair is about 50% complete too. Just droning up. Just droning up pretty hard here. Plus one, plus one Lings can deal with a large number of Marines. Especially if the Marines don't have the upgrade. Now let's see, they don't have any upgrades yet. They're working on U-238 shells to increase their range, but not actually working on stim. They must already have it. They must already have stim. You gotta get stim before you get uh, the range upgrade, especially if you have medevacs like this. So this is a little bit scarier. Stimmed marines with a range upgrade. Pretty scary stuff, uh, even against 1-1 lings, which they're not 1-1 lings, by the way. <laughs> that is not even 50% complete yet. Additional sunkens being thrown up. In defense, Ling's trying to come around the backside and pick off some of those medevacs. Nope, nope. The game sense here for last is too good. And the Ling's are forced to retreat on back down. Third base is up. There's a sunken colony on the top of the ramp. Now, static defense on top of a ramp is infinitely better than static defense not on top of a ramp for Zerg. Lurkers on the top of the ramp can deal with a lot of bio. A lot of bio that tries to come up that ramp. Sunken's too can do much better. These Ling's, though... They're trying to set up a bit of a trap, as you can see here. They're kind of running around in circles around these guys. And maybe going for a surround. I don't know. These lings maybe trying to get in there, but this is a pretty darn solid wall. There's no way that's happening at all. And actually pulling back are the lings not losing any of them, which is pretty good control from July. But what else do we expect? Macro hatch here at the top of the ramp, where you can actually throw down, you know, some sunken colonies and stuff there too, if you feel like it. But that means you lost your natural, which... Effectively means you basically lost the game. So that is a capitulation of some kind. I don't think we'll see July do that. Spire on the way here too. We do have the double gas. Do we get a third gas? No third gas quite yet. Meanwhile, Terran player says, all bio all the time, baby. I've got a factory. I'm using it to scout. We are not going mech like we saw Flash do to Hero in the game on Tuesday. So that is not the plan of attack here today. But Bio is viable in its own right in TVZ for sure. No question about that. Especially if you get some fire bats to deal with the eventual Dark Swarm. That is going to show up. But guess what? Nine Mutalisks from July. Got nine Mutas in production here. Missile turrets are not coming up. This is the difference between Flash and Last, you guys. Is that this was sniffed out. Sniffed out by Flash. He had missile turrets coming up before the Mutas even showed up here. And some Valkyries on the way here too. Is there an Armory? Mm, there's your turrets. Okay, so turrets coming up in the main, and now they're coming up here at the natural. I may have maligned you a little bit last. I didn't see this one, and this one was not on the way quite yet. So, good timing. Well done. Hats off to you, good sir. There's a queen's nest on the way from July, which can really only be for hive tech and eventual ultralisks. Based again on the 2-2 coming up now for the melee attack and the ground carapace. All right, so three missile turrets, four missile turrets make it really really hard to kill any SCVs here with that number of mutas. If you can show up with enough mutas to effectively one volley down a missile turret, you go bam, 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 bam. Yeah, maybe then you can make something happen. That's more than nine. That's closer to like 20 or 25. Which, if you do that, then suddenly Valkyrie's a lot more valuable. And Valkyrie's can cause you trouble. Alright, so the mutas flying around trying to see what's up here. And what's up is a couple SCVs. 
another SCD going down. Mutas getting chased away. A fairly healthy group of Mutas here. We can see the nice orange color they've got. But Ling, it's going to be Ling Muta here from this point on. And I mean, not this point on, but for now. And that's a Hive. Hive in production. Third base down. July's not in a hurry to go for a fourth base yet. Just because, again, Ash Ashley. I keep reading Ashley, but it's last. Last is not taken one based on the coverage of the Zerglings, which are scouting. That's really good stuff. All right, so Muta's attacking on in. Ready to rock. If there are enough Marines, this is not going to work out for him. Actually, he's not going to engage with Marines. What are we talking about here? Falcon, honestly. Trying to kill a lot of SCVs. That's what we're trying to do. You know what? We are whittling down this SCV count quite nicely. While not taking much damage from anybody, this group comes in. Can the Mutas stand against this? Kind of. They're losing a couple of their own, but they're taking a lot of Mutas with them. And you know what? Uh, these SCVs are in a heck of a lot of trouble right now. That's a lot of dead SCV for the 10 minute mark of a game. The Mutas are all eventually going to die. That's a lot of injured SCVs. The bounces are going to kill a whole bunch. Did you just sacrifice all of his Mutas to make that happen? All but two and maybe getting a couple Firebur Firebirds, Firebats in the process. Zerglings running on in. But there are, like I mentioned previously, there be Firebats here. The Lings are not doing very well at all. Nice pull, but guess what? The third base of July is gone. There's no saving it here. It's 114 to 47 supply. No. Is July just done at this point? Did he overextend with his Mutas and lose all of them? And now his 2-2 Lings aren't going to be enough to break through this wall. There are Firebats. Or there, there are Firebats in that bunker. There are SCVs ready to hold the line here too. And there's a huge army he can do nothing about, really. Oh, man. Is Last going to win this thing? APM 370 for July. 400 plus for Last right now. Does he have Lurkers out? I don't know if he has Lurkers out. He's got four Ultras in production. These Ultras need to be the greatest Ultras of all time. And maybe some Dark Swarm too. But I don't think we even have a Defiler Mound, ladies and gentlemen. So that's not a possibility. The thing is, it's a two-base to two-base. It's a two-base to two-base. I love the Ling spread that July is playing with. He will know exactly where the army is. At all times, where the expansion attempts are happening. At all times. And so far, so good on that front. Now, five Ultras ready to pop. I think one of them is in here. There he is. Blop. I don't know how they fit in those eggs. It is a question of Zerg physics. It's very confusing stuff. Adrenal glands is done. These are two two lings with adrenal glands. That is pretty good stuff. Kindness plating almost done for the Ultras too. They have those upgrades. Killing his own sunken colony so the Ultra does not stuck. <laughs> that hurts, but replacing his third. Now, this is a really tough position for July to be in. Again, to be on two base to versus two base is really bad news bears. If you're going up against a Terran player who knows what they're doing and last 100% does. How are the upgrades on the Marines, you ask? Well, they're 1-1. One, 2-2 one. is almost done there according to that production tab. And here goes nothing. Marines, medics, science vessels. This is kind of an ideal composition with some fire bats mixed in right now. For last. Ultras heading on down with some Zerglings for support. I don't know if you want to attack in this enclosed space. Really, Ultras and Lings do better when they get surrounds off. Come from different angles and whatnot. No, this is not it. This is not it. Just pull back. Get out of there. Oh, the Scourge, though. Scourge actually taking some shots from the Marines. Well, that, that did not work out at all for <laughs> July. He just lost all of his Scourge. Didn't connect on any of those science vessels. And now a bunch of Lings are Scourge are dead. Ultra's trying to fight on in. And you know what? Defensive Matrix on one of these dudes. How's he going to do? He's got three kills. Ultra's getting crushed right now. Wow. And that's it. That's going to be all she wrote. The Ultras were not enough. And last takes the game off July. Once again, man, this is all it takes sometimes. is Making a bunch of Mutas, overextending with them, not getting enough damage done. Look at the SCV saturation. It's insane for last. It's still fine. He's probably oversaturated. Losing 10 or 20 workers didn't make a difference for him. He was just pushing. He was pumping Marines, fire bats, medics. Science vessels. Where do the science vessels go? Oh, they're leading the charge. Of course they are. Defensive Matrix Marine here. Looking awesome. But yeah, I mean, that that was it. 
that was it. You just lost all your all of your mutalisks. You can't prevent any of these push outs. You try to go for ultra, but you don't have any supporting dark swarm or plague or anything really. And on top of that, you lose your third base, and that's going to be all she wrote. So great job, great job by last taking a game off of July, which is not easy to do, not easy to do at all. But he managed to make it happen. Great job by him. And that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. Hall at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Thank you.